Hi YouTube, this is a free extract from my larger Illustrator Advanced course. You can check that out on bringyourownlaptop.com. Also, there's a link in the description for the exercise files. Those are free to download, so go and download those. All right, uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Hey there, in this video we're going to do some introduction to 3D. We'll look at the revolve along the top left there and a couple of extrude and the 3D rotate. All right, let's go and learn that now in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so let's get started. Let's look at the various 3D options we've got. I'm gonna start with type, because that's the first thing we wanna make 3D, right? Um, I'm gonna use a letter X, I'm gonna make it super big. I'm using a font called uh, Rocket Font. It's a free uh, font to download. It's actually in your exercise files if you want it. You don't have to outline it, but to get the kind of full 3D effect, it's best not to use black, okay? The shadows and highlights just don't appear. So pick any color. Okay, and what I'm going to do now, let's go up to Effect, go to 3D, and we're gonna start with Extrude and Bevel. And let's move it out of the way, let's turn Preview on, and yeah, that's how to kind of like extrude a letter. It doesn't have to be obviously type, it can be any shape, as long as it's vector. Now we're not gonna go through every setting in here, but the basics are Extrude Depth is probably one of the big ones that you want, okay, so how far and back it goes. Then the easiest way to move this in the 3D space is not to grab the whole thing, it gets a bit kind of like crazy. And um, the trick is to just grab these edges. So this edge here, you can see just um, starts doing the rotation, the X, the Y, and the Z. I find this is the kind of easiest way for new people to work out how to do in 3D. Rotation is anywhere around the outside. Okay, so just click in here. So get, get it where you want it. Awesome. What you might not see is you might be on fewer options. So click on more options. And this is where the light is hitting this particular object. You might decide to shine the light from a different way. Okay, and just drag this dot around here. You can play around with the settings. We're not gonna go through all the surface and ambient lighting. Okay, um, yeah, this is more just an introduction. We'll look at some more advanced stuff in the next video. Cool, I'm gonna turn down my extrude depth to something a little bit lower. I'm gonna click okay. Now, a couple of things is to edit this again once it's done, because it's editable type, right? I can double click on it with a type tool and call this one XD. Okay, and click out. It's a bit weird kind of working in that mode. It wants to be 3D, but also flat. Um, the easiest way to do it is to go to outline mode. So view and go to command Y, where are you? GPU preview or outline mode. It's easier just to work this way. Cool. All right, so to get into uh, edit the 3D is with it selected, you need to find your appearance panel. Now here in this new version of Illustrator, you can just click on it there. It opens back up, you turn preview back on and you can make your adjustments. Cool. Um, if you're an older version of Illustrator, you might have to go to window and find appearance and do it the same thing in there. One of the drawbacks of 3D in Illustrator is that if you want a separate thing, okay, um, they don't, uh, you can't like put everything into the same effect. So watch this, if I want this guy, they're, they're not connected in the same 3D space now. Okay, if I go into this guy and change him, and um, there's no way of kind of like having different groups interacting together, casting shadows. But for kind of simple vector stuff, it's kind of cool. I'm gonna make a duplicate of this, send it to the back, change the color, for no reason. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look cool. Um, Let's have a quick look at the other two options for 3D. Um, the next one is Revolve. Okay, so I'm gonna draw some, I'm gonna use the pencil tool and draw a, what am I gonna draw? I'm going to draw something like that. It's got no fill. Okay, oh, basically what you want is you want a stroke and no fill. So I've got a stroke of blue, okay, and I want no fill. The stroke doesn't really matter. It can be black, but it looks better with a colored, um, colored stroke and then we're gonna revolve it. Okay, so we're gonna go up to Effect, we're gonna to go to 3D, and we're gonna to go to Revolve. Make sure Preview's turned on, and it's gonna kind of do the opposite of what I wanted to, By our, it depends on which side you draw. So you're drawing kind of like a, um, a cutaway of the object you wanna draw. I'm gonna switch it from left edge to right edge. And that was my terrible vase, I wanna call it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> when I was prepping for this video, I tried to draw a wine glass, but every time it came out horrible. <laughs> but if you had the time, you'd spend some time with the curvature tool or the pen tool, you could draw something quite nice. Okay, so that is the revolve tool. Okay. Um, one of the nice things about the revolve tool and the extrude tool is, um, the, there's two things in here. The offset, um, you can break it. 
So um, how far kind of apart they are in the middle. Okay, so that's a different thing for this one. It's just that kind of separates them out to make them wider. The other thing you can do is the revolve angle. Okay, so in here I can lessen it. So it's kind of like a sliced cutaway. Let's do that one. And I'm gonna revolve it around so you can kind of see I've got a chunk missing. Now one of the other things I like with Revolve is the surface is that plastic shading. If you can't see it, okay, uh, click on more options and down here we want to go to wireframe. I like it, it's just kind of a cool effect, you know, it just looks kind of, I use it kind of as a visual, like maybe a big splash graphic around the back. Cool, um, I'm going to turn it back to plastic shading and click OK. Let's look at the last of the fellas. Um, again, Command Y for outline. Okay, just kind of, I'm gonna shrink this down and maybe move it across. It's still trying to do the 3D thing, so it might freak out, like it's running a little bit slow, but at least it's easier to maneuver. So the next thing we're gonna look at is type. I'm gonna type in dam. And the last option is not very exciting, but we're going through them all. Okay, it does like extrude, okay, um, except there's no depth to it. Okay, it's called rotate. And you might find a good use for this. I'm gonna turn preview on. You can see the same kind of thing, but there's no, um, there's no extruding. Okay, so yeah, just kind of adding a bit of flat depth. Now the reason I've run through this one a little fast is that there's just a couple of better options for you to use. Like we love Illustrator, that's why we're here, but there's just some things that just look, you know, are just purpose built for 3D and there's two of them. Adobe has one and a half. Um, let's look at the first one called Dimension. So this is Dimension Open. It's pretty, like what it's for is, it's for doing stills in 3D, which could be perfect for you. So I'm dragging out just some pre-made stuff that we've got here. There's a coffee cup. Okay, and remember that uh, fox we made earlier? Okay, it's just in my CC library. I'm just gonna drag it and attach it to it. It's really quick and easy, this program, I love it. Um, I can move it around, it wraps around the shape. It's all very exciting. It's probably, I'm not gonna go through a whole course on dimension now. I'm just giving you a kind of a teaser to say, go off and do a course. I don't have one yet. I plan to do one really soon, so check that out. Um, yeah, Adobe Dimension. One of, the, one of the coolest things about this is, watch this, you can drag in backgrounds, like um, your own background or this one. It's trying to map the hex on the ground here to the uh, floor here. And it says, would you like to match the image? And you say, yes, please. And this coffee cup will hopefully now match the perspective of the table. Pretty awesome, huh? Okay, so um, I'm gonna scale this one down, bring him forward. Cool, he's still a little bit big. But you can see that uh, what's really cool about it is it tried to mimic the lighting. It hasn't quite got it perfect, you can adjust it. Okay, but it tries to mimic the image where the lighting is and how it positions in the world. Cause that's pretty convincing, right? Like it's it looks like it's part of the same kind of world as the, um, as the vase there. I say vase, it's a pot, Dan, come on. Okay, so that's the super quick and dirty version of Dimension, but you can just see how much nicer it is. You can start with some of these pre-made objects. You can buy them from the stock.adobe site. Um, and then there's lighting templates and backgrounds. You can add your graphics, pretty cool. Now, again, the biggest uh, drawback to this one is it's not, it's not meant to be animated, okay? So it's just for stills. Okay, so where animation comes in and maybe more motion graphics is, this is why it's kind of 0.5. It's not really Adobe's product. It's from a company called Maxon. It's called Cinema 4D. Now it's separate from your Creative Cloud license, kind of. There's a sneaky trick you can do. Like if you wanna get into motion graphics and you wanna start getting into 3D motion graphics, which I love, okay, go to Cinema 4D. It's a great product. Um, and what you can do is you can open up a light version inside After Effects. So whatever way they've decided to license the product from Maxon, um, you can't just open it, right? You can find it on your machine, fair enough. Um, it's called Cinema 4D Lite, but you can't open it, just won't open. So what you do to open it is you open up After Effects, uh, just a blank document, and then go to File, New, and open it here. Okay, it's not the full version, not the full studio version, but it's it does a lot of what you need. Okay, most of it, especially if you're new. Open it up, and from here, and as long as um, After Effects stays open, Cinema 4D opens. Now it's obviously they're not an Adobe product, it looks completely different, but if you do want to get into 3D a bit more and it excites you, this is the, I find this is such a good transition for somebody who's doing kind of more still graphic design and wants to start animating it. It's a, the learning curve here is high enough, but nothing compared to something like Maya or 3D Studio Max or um, Blender, okay, this one here, my advice is, yeah, it's a great start. Um, again, I plan to do a course on this, I don't have it yet, but, um, 
Um, what's really cool about it is um, you can animate it, okay? So just make sure my playhead's back here at zero. I'm gonna set a keyframe there. And then further along, after maybe a second, 60 seconds, I'm gonna slide it along here. Add another keyframe. And yeah, I'm gonna hit, pull, drag it back, hit play. And the cool thing about it is you can see it's got nice easing already. I know it's pretty simple animation, but yeah, it's super quick and easy to learn. Um, I can throw a floor in. Uh, I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop in a second. I really wanna try and, I'm not trying to sell Cinema 4D, I guess. I'm just kind of like saying, it's a lot easier, like, yeah, trying to learn this one than say something like, um, you know, Maya is amazing and way better than Cinema 4D, but if you're just looking for motion graphics, it doesn't have to be that hardcore. I'm trying to think of what the nice shapes are. Nuki will do. All right, if I render this one, Commander, you can see it's kind of a, ugly 3D thing, but at least it's animated. And that's the kind of the real big difference between say something like um, Dimension and say something like Cinema 4D. Dimension's all about pre-made stuff and Cinema 4D is all making stuff from scratch. There are some models and stuff you can use, but yeah. Yeah, that's my introduction to 3D using Illustrator. Um, yeah, let's get on to doing some more kind of practical 3D stuff, some semi-flat design. Uh, yeah, next video will be a little bit more exciting or at least finished product. All right, let's jump into it now.